You're watching News 8 Now. I'm Megan Torgeson. And I'm Erin O'Valley. Federal fire investigators will be on the scene of the Noy Street fire today, but officials say that it could take days to determine the cause of Portland's deadliest fire in decades. Five people were killed when the two apartment building caught fire. Their bodies are at the state medical examiner's office for identification. The one survivor who was severely burned has been identified as 29 year old Stephen Summers of Rockland. Also this morning, the search for two fishermen missing since Saturday has been suspended. The Coast Guard received a distress call near Matinicus Island from a boat out of Cushing, Maine. A crew did rescue the captain from a life raft, but after 17 hours of searching, still no sign of the other two fishermen. Just about 24 hours to go now. It is the final push of commitment 2014. The race for the Blaine House is a virtual tie between Governor LePage and Congressman Mike Michaud. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie will be back in Portland tonight, stumping for LePage. It will be Christie's fifth appearance for LePage this campaign season. Meanwhile, Michaud will get some support from Senator Angus King at the New Balance factory in Skowhegan. King endorsed Michaud last week, abandoning his fellow independent, Elliot Cutler, and throwing his political weight behind the Democrat instead. The senator says he's supporting Michaud because of his goals in protecting the environment and growing Maine's economy. Well, thanks for tuning into this News 8 Now update. I'm Erin O'Valley. I'm Megan Torchison. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a good day.